Okay, so Ronin up one to zero. Oh, they're on the attack here versus Primal. Now entering King's Row. So we are catching the tail end, potentially, you know, next two games of Ronin versus Primal. I haven't cast them yet today, so we'll get acquainted here. On defense, looks like we've got Lickitung, Gojiro, Thracon 445, Crash, Kiffs, and Hyson. And then on the attacking team, Ronin, we've got Donut, Fury, Trix, Zoros, Nomi, and Decop. Get this timer ready to go for when we actually get started. Let's just spectate the lovely Junkrat for the time being. So again, this is Primal versus Ronin, semifinal number two here in NA Weekly, number two for the Plays GG slash the Plays TV slash just the Plays. I've still got it. Let's see who will move on to face Gale Force Esports in the winner's final. Or sorry, the Let's grand final. Let's not waste time. I have tickets to a show tonight. Only $11 short of our prize pool total so far, so if you guys are watching and have not used your free $1 coupon code on Matcherino, you might as well go do it now. As we're nearing the end of the broadcast, this is the second semifinal, and the finals will start right immediately after. All right, so I got my timer started at the correct time this time around. We're gonna watch Decop on offense shoot himself with a rocket. <laughs> as soon as we get into the game. Okay, looping around the side of the statue here, let's just take a look at their composition. It's two tanks on the offense, two damage with Zoros and Decop on Soldier and Farah, and the two supports, Lucio and Mercy, as you'd expect. On the defense, very similar. Lucio Mercy, we got Soldier, Reinhardt, and the only difference is Roadhog and Junkrat. Roadhog actually going to get taken out there by Nomi on the offense. Mercy under the gun now, Decop trying to shoot away, does actually get the kill on Soldier first. A couple of nice direct rockets there from Decop on Ronin, and I can maybe see why they're up a game already, just uh, crashing through this first point in just about a minute. 57 seconds looks like it is going to be the time to beat for cap A. Very good stuff there. And just to remind you guys, this is one hero limit stopwatch. Someone in the chat saying, watch out for Crash. He pops off on the daily. Well, he better try and slow down this Farah player. He's the soldier on the defense, so he really needs to be uh, responsible for that. But as they move forward, they are holding them to this corner, which is actually pretty good for the offense, but they need to make sure that payload's moving. There it is, now getting three push. Decop out in front, needs to be careful. Maybe play that air space a little bit more. There is a defensive Farah in play now. Oh no, excuse me, that's incorrect. It was actually... No, no, Lickitung. Yeah, Lickitung has swapped over now from Junkrat to Farah. The barrage comes out. Looks like it does kill the Mercy and the Crash and Hyson combining for a couple of kills there. Hyson on that defensive Roadhog can be very valuable. Let's find out if he's as good as Harblue. Does get a hook and combo kill on the Zara, uh, Zarya right next to him. Follows up with the kill on Reinhardt. So defense holding strong here in the second stretch. We'll go ahead and watch Crash since he got a bit of a shout out in the chat. Let's see what he's capable of here. Decop is the Pharah that he's worried about killing, but he is down to 26 health very quickly. He actually got the Helix Rocket on Decop before getting taken out by Trix. Defense actually falling way back here, though. Not good for them as Zarya and company three pushing into this next checkpoint. And looks like the time is going to be about two minutes, two and a half minutes here so far. Not quite at the checkpoint yet, but Zarya pushing forward does get the kill on Lickitung. Finally, it does push in at about 2 minutes 34 seconds. Reviton Surge into Earth Shatter. Wiping out most of the attacking team, actually. Zoros, Nomi, Fury, and Decop all down. Looks like Donut has his res, but doesn't really need to use it right now. He is going to fall. Actually, no, he tried to pop it. He popped the ult. At such an awkward time, Zarya had just respawned, and she was about to die. I think I would not have 
advise that resurrection, but the offense is pushing forward pretty hard. They got kills on four members of the defense. Lickiton going down now as well. Zarya just solely pushing this point. Sorry, guys, I didn't see any of that action unfolding. I'll just pull out into the third person view now since we are rounding the last corner here. My ultimate is charging. Enemy contact. Okay, Crash, Kiffs, Thracon, and Hyson pushing forward now to try and contest this payload. It is generally at the very end of the push now. You can see the offense over on the right side, defense on the left. Decop actually snuck around with that barrage, got a kill on Kiffs, but the sound barrier keeps everyone else intact. Hyson popping that Roadhog ult does bounce Reinhardt way back. It's actually going to catch Zoros as well. Biotic Field goes down to manage to keep them alive. Lickitung actually getting killed off. So let's watch uh, Crash again on the defense as Soldier. Just lighting into that Reinhardt shield. Soros goes down. Good kill there. Reinhardt shield is going to go down as well. Earth Shatter actually came out on the side of the defense right before Thrakon fell there. We have a Sights active on the offense. Zoros playing Soldier 76 for Ronin. He does get the kill on Gojiro. Now looking at that Vera Lickitung in the sky. Pretty accurate shots there so far, just doing the burst fire, make sure it's perfectly accurate. And the Graviton Surge going into the spawn door actually prevents them from even being able to escape. So very fast time set here by Ronin in about the uh, four and a half minute range, actually under four and a half minutes. Play of the game. Here, oh. I've got oh, you Four minutes, 21 seconds is the time to beat. Very swift push there from Ronin. And now we will swap sides. Primal will be on the attack, and they will have four minutes and 20 seconds, essentially, to try and beat that time. Let's turn uh, music back on here for you guys, just for a little more ambiance. <laughs> I'll make sure that I get that timer started at the correct moment. We have Ronin on defense now, looks like early selections include Junkrat and Roadhog once again, double support this time not including Mercy, Fury actually opting for that Symmetra. Teleporter play can be obviously very powerful here. Let's actually just start behind them and follow them out to the point. How about that? Nothing's gonna stop. Okay, so Junkrat typically wants to stay inside the hotel here and set up traps kind of right at the top of this step. It actually can be very hard to see when you're coming up the steps and you uh, usually trigger the Junkrat trap even if it's on the side doors here. Uh, so just keep that in mind for your own play. You can actually trap right here or right here and as they come up the steps, uh, the radius of it typically catches them. So Primal will be on the attack here. Gojiro looking like he's on Roadhog and Reinhardt for Thrakon once again. Lickitung on Pharah once again. Kif's Crash and Hyson rounding it out. Crash with Reaper rather than Soldier. And now we will resume the timer. Here we go. Doors are open. Let's go ahead and watch Crash here on the attacking Reaper. I am a Reaper and Pharah main myself. I will say offense main typically, but Reaper and Farah definitely have the bulk of my playtime. I find them to be the best carries right now in a world where McCree and Widow are a bit weaker than they used to be. The amount of damage that they output is actually very easy to uh, control, and that's a very important. Soldier is, of course, great sustained damage as well, but uh, Reaper can just burst down a Mercy so fast, burst down a Tracer in two shots at Genji, etc. I find him to be just the most powerful at the moment in uh, competitive play at least. Okay, Crash is going to trigger that Junkrat trap and Wraith walk long enough to survive the Concussive Mine coming out. Nomi and Zoros actually doing a ton of damage. Zoros already building up his Soldier Ultimate in the first minute. Now getting the damage amp from Donut. 
three minutes and 20 seconds left. Ignore that clock at the top. It's all about that clock in the top right. As the, that is the amount of time they have to push the entire map, not just point A. So a minute 10 already gone from that four minutes, 21 seconds. Not helping them very much here. Decop does go down. Gojiro must have gotten the, the nice uh, hook combo. Lickitung quite low. Soldier could be able to just pop his visor and finish her off, but he's actually showing some discipline, waiting until he sees the Mercy, and now all of them trapped in this hallway. Should be a very, very easy cleanup. Zoros just getting the job done here. One more shot on Zarya will do it. I would just lay into that shield, but look at that Heisen with the counter kill. Managed to stay alive and just scamper away. I'm actually going to watch Heisen. I watched that. Um, Heisen now with the Graviton Surge available. Could be the door opener here, but with time running out, only 2 minutes and 28 seconds to push the entire rest of the map. Ronin must be feeling pretty good. Just with stall tactics alone, they should be able to do this. And the fact that the teleporter is still standing, the defensive res coming in now, bringing in both tanks. Things are looking really good for Ronin as time continues to tick down. Even swatting away at that Zarya. Heisen did not even use the Graviton Surge yet, so continue spectating him as he respawns. Graviton Surge could open the door. But Ronin looking very, very solid here. Crash also does have the Death Blossom, but he actually switches off of Reaper before using the Death Blossom. Kind of a tough consideration there as Reaper can teleport in and Death Blossom immediately after uh, the tanks engage. Genji, I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do, but we'll see. No ult available, of course. Lickitung already down. It's bad for this push. Fire in the hole coming out for the defense. Actually grabs the tire as well, so the tire actually does get a kill on Thracon, who got a little bit too close to that Graviton Surge. Nice kill on the Mercy, but uh, doesn't come out until after the res. Roadhog still standing on the point, getting melted down by Zarya with a 100 charge. Good job from Hisen. Now getting the last kill on Nomi. Zarya, MVP there. The teleporter's still standing, though. All these players could come streaming out of it. Let's uh, take a look at... No, Zarya's already swapped off now. And that it, they are calling GG, but there's only one minute left to actually push here. So um, that is going to be it. GG's. Ronin up. 2-0 in this best of three series. They are going to take the semifinal.